Swiffer takes care of his too. Oh. Now the air's gone. All thanks to Swiffer. Try Swiffer Sweeper Heavy Duty Dry Fox. I promise you'll love them or your money back. And also... Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about comparison being the enemy of joy, the thief of joy, the murderer of joy, or whatever the hell the saying is. Hello <clears throat> everybody. So a couple things to keep you up to date on. Um, I was doing an experiment the last or this month where I was going to try to not drive my car for a month and see if I spend more money on Ubers than I do on like gas and parking. <clears throat> and I figured since I pay 200 bucks a month to park my car, I'll leave it in the fucking garage all month. Well, today is I think the 26th. So that's how far I made it. Oh, there's the Uber building. That's funny. I just, um, I want to go to the beach. I'm fucking annoyed and I just need to be in the sun and I want to rent a bike and ride up from like Santa Monica to Venice. Get some Bloody Marys, eat some fries, and do some riding. So there's that. So that's what we're doing right now. But I'm also driving over to this gas station because this is the only gas station around here. Oh shit, is it this one? We'll try this one anyway. Can't remember if it's this one or the next one. But one of these gas stations is the only one that has the cigarettes I like because I'm out of tobacco and I need to put my order in for the stupid fucking delivery. But it's just like you order from them and it takes like three weeks to get there so you always forget about it. And I'm hoping to get some bouge and maybe some smamages or something. Alright, <clears throat> so this is what's going on. I go here to uh, get my... Uh, get gas, get cigarettes, uh, get some drinks for the beach, get something to eat, and I just spent over a hundred bucks just to get stuff to go to the beach so I don't spend too much money going to the beach. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Gas is over six bucks a gallon. Whoa, everyone's got their brakes on. Um, there's still traffic, so that sucks. But I did find some Yellowtail Shiraz in there, which is shocking. So I napped those bad boys. But, um, yeah, I got a $5 overpriced Italian sandwich. It's gonna be dry as fuck. Now I'm gonna drive to the beach, pay 15 bucks to park, if I need to drink anything at the beach, it'll be like 12 to 15 bucks, good lord. And um, yeah, so there's that. Um, and if I wanna eat anything there, I might as well uh, sell my fucking kidneys and shit. But I do want to rent a bike and go cruising around and um, get some shit done, dude. So I don't know how much that's going to cost, but between having to fucking pay for parking right now, I just don't know how much it's going to be. But anyway, on another note, I don't know when we're going to announce this and it might not happen. I think it's going to happen, but it might not. But um, we finally got a director for the documentary that I feel really fucking good about. And um, we talked early this morning about like what 
their vision for everything was, and within like three minutes, she had a better vision than anyone uh, that I've talked to uh, about this. And she had some really good ideas, and uh, really fucking excited about it. After she told me what she was wanting to do, we're going to have to change the time frame of everything a little bit, which is fine by me, but um, a couple of the people are going to be a little pissed off, but they're going to have to just suck a dick on that one. Anyway, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, I don't know when we're going to announce it. Like, she could still walk away right now, so uh, let's, let's get her name and ink on a piece of paper. It's a nice day out, and I'm usually not up this early, but I miss driving my car, man. It's a, it's a beaut. So let's try this nasty fucking sandwich. Bread's pretty soft. That's a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. That's really dry. This is really salty meat. Salami and pepperoni. Could have done without the ham. Yeah. I don't know if I want to eat this. Maybe I'll save the rest of it later. I'll have to put it in my bag. I don't know what the date is, but that said Best by 1028, which is probably today. The whole point of me coming to the beach at this time was to not sit in traffic, and I should have waited. falling off this stupid fucking thing, dude. And I want to just like do shit like this, and I can't. So yeah, so I'm at the pier in Santa Monica, and I'm riding a bike, and I'm, I think I'm heading into Venice once I get through here, but there is a really cool, it's over there though, shit, how the fuck am I gonna get there? Oh, I'm in the dark, I'm under the pier, oh my god, there's birds. There's pigeons attacking me. This is terrifying. I can't believe how uncoordinated I am now. Where's that bar? So here I am, don't know what to do. Um, I'm trying to 
get the book read so I could do um, like a live stream right now or something. But I can't seem to concentrate on anything and I'm not exactly sure why. But my brain just is not working at all. So there's that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my feet wet, come back and either do a video or do a live stream. I haven't decided yet. So I would ask you what you think, but you're not going to see this until after I've decided. So it's kind of pointless in me asking you any questions whatsoever at all because you're not going to know the answers to any of this stuff. So, out so far. It's crazy. I feel like it's a trap. I'm going to get close and then the waves are just going to come and fucking nail me. Oh shit, that water's cold as shit. That's nice. That's nice. Oh shit. storytelling night. This is a, a storytelling night. The theme is always queer places, the places that make us historical, contemporary, virtual, whatever it may be, because we've all had experiences in queer spaces. Um, I feel like it's really important. I started this night because I think it's really important that we, um, first of all, keep our history alive um, by telling stories. Um, second of all, that we establish queer spaces. I believe in visibility and kind of pushing against a lot of people that want to take us off bookshelves and kind of push us into the dark. So this is my meager contribution. To AF offers sliding scale peer counseling, tarot readings, and consulting through the lenses of community psychology, feminist therapy, and fat liberation. Um, Free is very special to me. They are one of my closest friends and 
I love them dearly, and I don't know what else to say. Just kind things. <laughs> I love, I love you. So right now I am heading to Redlands to go to my kids soft opening at the <clears throat> gourmet donut shop that they're working at and hopefully I will be able to empty out some of my storage unit that's out there. That is the plan, but the day is already away from me, and I don't know if I'm gonna get there in time, so we will see. So, here is the score. It took me three hours to get to Redlands to see my kid. And I couldn't even really see my kid for that long. Um, whatever. So, you're probably wondering, where the fuck are you right now? And I'll tell you. Where, where, where am I? I am in one of the nastiest fucking hotel rooms I've ever been in. I figured I got here too late to do the storage thing. The storage place is already closed. I sat in traffic for three hours to get here. I got to see my kid for like maybe four minutes. So I'm like, I don't want to fucking drive home. I'm fucking tired. I want to shower. And then I thought, I'm like, oh wait, if I stay out here, then tomorrow I could go to the storage unit early, load that up and drive home with no traffic at all. So let's take a look at this place, okay? So this is what we got. There is some scary door that I believe is a closet. I ain't opening it. Here is the bed, complete with cigarette burns all over the damn comforter, whatever the fuck that is. This scary fucking thing. Um, I guess I'll show you the bathroom. There's some dead bug on the floor right there. Um, all sorts of shit here. Oh, but there's little soaps. So that's a plus. Oh, and a clean towel next to a dirty towel. Oh, so that, that's nice. I like that a whole lot. Oh, I was really zoomed in. That's why everything was weird. Here's the toilet. Oh, and there's a, another bug in the toilet. There was a bug in the toilet when I came in and flushed it, but it looks like another one has appeared. So I don't know where these bugs are coming from, but that's where they are. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Oh, maybe that's why, because the toilet doesn't actually flush. Okay. Well, here's some scary window into some scary thing. Here is the scary shower, which opens into actual little kind of cave shower and this is what my shower looked like when I lived in North Hollywood so this is kind of fun 
Oh, there's another bug right there. What is that? That looks like a little cockroach. And that looks like a little cockroach. So there are cockroaches all over this fucking place, which is amazing. I don't want to fucking open anything in case another fucking cockroach shows up. I'm afraid to move the bed, like the blanket off the bed, because I'm afraid some cockroaches will show up. So let's see what else we got here. Should I even look at the bed? The floor is sticky as fuck. Took me a minute to figure out how to turn that on, but it's on. And this place is fucking horrific. So let's see. Am I even gonna be able to get any sleep in this bed? There might be a burn. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, I don't see any bugs. What about in here? Do we got any bed bugs or anything? The sheets look clean, which I'm actually kind of shocked about. Pillow, not so much. It's all yellow right here. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, good lord. Can't believe I fucking paid a hundred bucks for this shit. But anyway, there's a microwave so I could nuke the fucking cockroaches when they show up. Hopefully they're just in the bathroom. I don't know. But this might be one of those places where if you just leave the lights on, they'll stay in the floorboards. Fingers crossed, guys. Yeah, so here we are in Redlands. I'm afraid to leave food out here because of the cockroach problem. So let me figure that out. There's even a cockroach in the fridge. So that's amazing. Is that another one right there? It is. Is it dead? Well, all the roaches seem dead, so that's fun. Do I trust the fridge that has a cockroach in it? Ugh. We will find out. Did you catch anything I just said on that? Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, not on this. Okay. I, went, I was trying to get it out fast enough. So the night wasn't totally horrible. It took me until like, um, like three o'clock to go to sleep. And um, I slept with all the lights on because um, I did find some uh, little friends <clears throat> running around the bathroom. Smashed one of them, and the other one was too fast for me. But I don't think there were any bed bugs of any kind. I don't think I got bit or nothing. So, um, yay. So now the big test is to get out of here without taking any of the little friends with me. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.